Hello, welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to be answering your questions. So come on. Not too long ago, I had asked on my Instagram for you to ask me some questions, and I just wanted to sit and visit with you. So I hope you have your coffee or your tea, something to drink ready while we visit. My first question is from Amber. She asks, I want to know what it's like entering the empty nest phase of life. Are you excited about it or dreading it? How do you think it will change you and Jay's relationship and also your relationship with your boys? Any advice for us moms who will soon be entering this phase of life also? And by the way, you look gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Okay, any phase in life to me is difficult or it seems overwhelming every phase that I go into. Once I get into it and I'm chugging along in that phase, I'm good. I'm like, okay, I have the confidence. I'm like, we can get through this. Whether it be as simple as like getting married, I think it's the unknown that you just, you don't know. You know, you just don't know. You don't know where your life is going and you don't know what to expect. Having babies, pregnancies, you know, raising those babies and being, oh my goodness, so in charge of that little tiny life and going through the school years and, you know, right in through all the teen years and now I'm into college years with my boys. I know that Justin and Timothy's lives are going to be exciting. I can see kind of the direction that the Lord is taking them with their life paths. Things are clicking along really well for the boys. When they come up to a situation that they don't know which way to take, it's like a fork in the road, we all start you know, praying and asking the Lord to guide and direct. Guidance and directing is huge for us because not always are we gonna pick the right choices and do the right things, but we try and we know that he is there guiding us through life. I actually am dreading any kind of loneliness per se. Nowadays we have our phones, cameras, we can you know, FaceTime each other, text each other. Back in the day that was not even available. But nowadays I know that that kind of stuff is going to keep us close and keep us informed in what's going on in each other's lives. So I'm not so horribly hesitant about it <laughs> because we have those tools to use. I like to keep busy anyway, so I know that through this whole entire phase of them moving out and starting their lives, their jobs, I know that I'm going to end up being a very busy person and staying busy. That's just how I seem to go with life, is just I like to be busy. I like to do things. As far as me and Jason, I can see us going through almost like another honeymoon stage in a way. like. We're gonna just be the two of us, so we'll get to date some more. We won't have all, you know, responsibility where we have to be home or we have to do this or we have to go here or we have to go there. And, you know, it's gonna free up as far as me and Jason spending time together, just one on one. Um, so, as far as us, I can see that it would actually draw me and Jason even closer than where we are right now. I think at first the boys will be getting hold of me a lot, especially Justin. Justin is the type where he just, he has told me before he doesn't really want to move out and I told him there's no hurry. I mean seriously, there's no hurry. I told him if something comes along and it works out to where you need to move out, we're going to be there to help them, you know, with that transition from being in our home to them being in their home. So no matter what age a child is, even in their 20s is where my boys are, you are still as a parent guiding and directing that child and you are helping them make decisions. Now you are not making their decisions for them anymore like when they were little, but you still are involved in their decisions and you are discussing things with them. Um, the boys bring things to me and you know they're like, hey, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? Or, and, it just doesn't really stop. It's not like you stop being that parent as far as guiding and directing because you don't. It just it doesn't end. So I know that will continue to be in their lives and my life as well. 
I feel as far as going through empty nest, I think if you keep your mind set on positive thoughts, positive thinking, a good attitude about it, it's all in the mindset and I think that it will just make the transition a lot easier on everybody. There are going to be days where I will feel sorry for myself, I know me. It's gonna happen. But overall, I think I'm gonna be really excited for the boys and just really excited to see where they're being led in their lives. You know, as parents, we've raised our children for this moment. You are not letting your children go. You are actually watching them enter another phase in life. My second question is from Debbie. She asks, do you ever get bored or down being home? And if so, how do you deal with it? Yes, 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 oh my goodness. There are days where I'll even text Jason, I'm like, I'm bored. Or I'll say, I'm bored, entertain me, monkey. <laughs> yes, there are those days where you just, you're bored, you don't feel like there's anything to do. If I am restless or bored, really, I'm like, what, what's your deal? Like, why are you restless? Why do you feel like you need to be constantly doing something? You need to find something to do. Me, I'm saying me. I need to find something to do. So I start thinking, you know, is there like maybe a show on TV I've recorded? Am I in the mood for a show? Am I in the mood for, you know, to read a book? Or I have YouTube, I do, um, I make the videos and things for YouTube or if there's any editing that I need to do, I'm always thinking if you're bored or restless, then you need to find something to do. And believe me, there is always something to do, always. Sometimes I think I just get what I call cabin fever and I need to just get out. I need to get out, I need to go even for a walk in the fresh air or go look around at a store, do something like that. Get out of that house. Don't just sit in your home, get out and go look around. Grab a coffee or lunch, have lunch somewhere. Also I've noticed with boredom or restlessness with me is that I am actually yearning for God. And in that moment, I'm like, oh, hello, Karina, you need to spend some time with the Lord, either in prayer or devotion or something. My third question comes from Terry. Terry asks, how about your boys and their plans and all that fun stuff? Any girls? <laughs> Any five-year plans, retirement plans, or vacation destinations? Okay, my boys and their plans, I've been sharing that on my day in the life video which I will have in an iCard and down below for you to check out if you missed that. Um, they're chugging along in college really good. Justin's going to be graduating next year and then he will be looking for his career and off and running he goes. Timothy has another couple years so that he can get his bachelor's degree. As far as girls no, the boys are really, they seem to be really focused right now on their education and they really are grounded. Um, I'm very proud of them. They're grounded in a way that they know that they want to get that education and they want to get that career going first before they get into real dating. Now, if somebody comes along, I'm sure the situation would change, but nobody has come along. Um, that is something that we pray for too with the boys and we you know, ask the Lord to be preparing them and their future spouses for each other. As far as five-year plans, um, nothing comes in mind. Retirement plans, we would like to be, even in five years, I guess you could put this kind of together. Um, we would like to be out toward like the Tennessee and Kentucky area, like over that way, because we're in Texas right now. And we really would like to retire over that way. Um, that is just something that we've been working toward doing and we've discussed it with the kids and we know, I mean, the boys will probably all be all over, you know, in different states. But I told the boys, I said, you know, we're a plane ride away, you know, or it's, it's not that big of a deal. If we all live away from each other, I'm like, don't you think I'm not going to come and see you. It's not that big of a deal to me. It gives me an excuse to travel and see things. Vacation destinations, I love anywhere with a beach. In the past, we have rented ca like a cabin in the Smoky Mountains. This was years ago when the boys were little and we all had so much fun. So I would really, really like to do 
that again. Um, rent a cabin, not necessarily in the Smoky Mountains, but maybe out this way a little bit, and just be able to sightsee and do things. There are some places we'd like to go. The Four Corners is one of them. We would really like to go to the Four Corners. And Tim just found um, something on the map where it's like the center of... I can't remember if he said it's like the center of the world or the center of the United States or something like that. And it's not that far away from us. So I was like, that would be fun. That would be fun to go. You know, I'm sure there's like a plaque or something there. I don't know. We don't have anything like set in stone, but it is getting to be that time of year where we're going to be finding stuff to do. And especially with the boys being off for summer for a vacation. And of course, if we do that, you guys are going to have to come with us, right? Okay, those were my questions that you asked me. Thank you so much for asking me these questions. You guys, these questions really made me think. I actually took notes. Seriously. <laughs> because they really made me think. <laughs> I have a few more questions that were asked for outside of this video, and I'll be putting videos together for those. So I'll be watching for them. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon.